we're here. We are going to try to see if we can see some wildlife on Wildlife Loop. Oh, oh, here we go. This is right before the visitor entrance at Custer State Park. They're a lot smaller. But look at them. They're... They, they've got like brands on them or something. They're feisty though. See, he's got a brand OS. Holy moly. No, no, please don't put that window down. No, he's sniffing the back, he's sniffing the bike rack and I don't want to startle him. Hey, I'm Lana and I'm Casey and this is Percy, Billy, Sophie and Brody and together we are Class C Broads. If you can't tell we are animal people and we like wildlife as much as we like the domesticated kind. So we were pretty excited to go to Custer State Park which is known for its wildlife. Yeah, the entry fee into the park is $20 per car, and that's for up to seven days. And there's a dedicated wildlife loop that traverses a lot of the park. And we were pleasantly surprised with so many different types of animals. If you've been following the channel, you know that we are really into prairie dogs for some reason. I really don't know why. I mean, they're just little rodents, but they're so darn cute. They're so, so cute that Lana decided to write an entire song about them, and we'll put the link in the description below. <laughs> State Park, there are two distinct prairie dog towns. One is right off the wildlife loop uh, at the intersection of Highway 7, and the other is at the other end of Highway 7 where it intersects Highway 87. And that's where we got to see the prairie dogs really throwing it down. I mean, it was like WWE there. I bet on the brown one. I bet on the brown one too. Custer State Park is known for its wildlife, but it's also known for its scenic drives. There are over 71,000 acres within the park. Custer State Park is a funny shaped little park 
be sure and check out the northwest section of the park because it includes Needles Highway. There are three tunnels on Needles Highway, Iron Creek, Needles, and Hood. And you don't even want to try to take your RV through this part of the park. Yeah, we felt pretty lucky being able to get the Jeep through. And you know me, I'm a little nervous doing things like that. Um, but we did it. We did it a couple times. It was so much fun. And I even stuck my head out the window like a fool. Because she is a fool. So it's our last day here in uh, the Rapid City area. And we have decided to do Needles Highway again on a little sunnier day. And then hike a trail to the base of the Cathedral Spires. It's rated strenuous because we're supposed to have to go over some boulders. So we'll keep our th fingers crossed. We can do it. Let's go. easy hikes before, braided easy. Huh. I would say it's moderate. There, if you have bad knees, probably don't want to do it. I have kind of bad knees. <laughs> don't trip. <laughs> I have kind of bad knees and it's fine. But of course we haven't gone down yet. Yeah, going down is always the worst part for me for some reason. It is beautiful. If you like rocks and chipmunks. We heard there's some goats in the parking lot, not where we parked, but the one kind of by it. So we're on a goat hunt. Mm -hmm. The only one we've seen is the one on my shirt. And that's just not enough. Well, and gators. Are we hunting gators too? I already saw gators.
Custer State Park, there are nine campgrounds and most of them have electricity. And if you go not very far outside of the park, there's also a ton of other campgrounds. We didn't stay at Custer State Park while we were in South Dakota, primarily because we wanted more of a central location where we would have better access to Badlands National Park, Wall Drug. We've got a separate video on that. And then we also wanted to go into Rapid City and then even up to the Deadwood Spearfish sort of area. But I'm telling you, if you want a great unplug, get in touch with nature sort of campground to stay at, there is nothing better than Custer State Park because it was absolutely gorgeous and we saw tons of wildlife. I wouldn't say, I know, it is the best state park I've ever been to. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. If you like dogs, if you like wildlife, if you like this video, click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps us grow. And remember, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay classy. Cheers. Look at her go, folks. She's on a mission. They're not in any hurry. Look at them galloping. I love that people are driving by and don't think, Whoa! Oh, I didn't get that fall. <laughs> I didn't get the whole thing. Took a tumble? Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's brother? Where's brother at? Still up there? Yeah, there's a little baby. Yeah. Oh, baby. It's got it. You can do it, buddy. Whoa! Did he make it? Yeah. Yes. Hey, I'm Lana. And I'm Casey. And this is Percy, Billy, Sophie, Brody. Oh, I forgot to say Brody's name. I know. I don't know. I was like, Brody, do you know your name, Bob? Well, one more time. Alan. Alan. Steve! Alan! Alan! Steve! 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 I don't know why, but these little rodents are so fun to watch. We just like dogs. Come on. Look at these guys. Oh. I'm king. Oh, it jumped. <laughs> he just tried to jump on his back. Know. 